Welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will delve to the reason why Starlink is banned in Crimea. The deployment of Starlink, SpaceX's ambitious satellite internet constellation, has garnered significant attention as it seeks to revolutionize global internet connectivity. However, despite its potential to bridge the digital divide and offer reliable internet access in remote regions, Starlink has faced restrictions in certain geopolitical contexts. One such notable case is the ban on Starlink's usage in military applications in Crimea. Crimea, a region with a complex history of political and territorial disputes, has been subject to international sanctions and regulations, including restrictions on technology and telecommunications. In this video, we will explore the reasons behind the prohibition of Starlink's usage in the military sector in Crimea. Examining the geopolitical implications, security concerns, and the impact of such restrictions on the region's internet access and military operations. By delving into this issue, we aim to shed light on the multifaceted challenges faced by Starlink and other satellite-based technologies. In navigating geopolitical complexities and ensuring adherence to international regulations, The prohibition of Starlink's usage in the military sector in Crimea is primarily due to geopolitical tensions and international sanctions imposed on Russia following its annexation of Crimea in 2014. Starlink, the satellite internet service developed by SpaceX, provides high-speed internet connectivity through a constellation of low-Earth orbit satellites. However, the United States, along with its allies, has imposed strict economic sanctions on Russia in response to the Crimea annexation, which includes restrictions on the use of certain technologies and services in the region. Given Starlink's advanced communication capabilities and potential military applications, the prohibition is a precautionary measure to prevent any unauthorized usage or potential security risks. The ban on Starlink's usage in the military sector in Crimea underscores the broader political and diplomatic implications surrounding the region and highlights how technological advancements like satellite internet services can be subject to international regulations and sanctions. The use of Starlink, SpaceX's satellite internet service, in Crimea carries significant geopolitical implications. Crimea is a region that has been a subject of territorial dispute between Russia and Ukraine since Russia's annexation of Crimea, in 2014. By providing internet access through Starlink in Crimea, which is currently under Russian control, SpaceX could inadvertently be seen as legitimizing Russia's claim over the region. This could potentially raise concerns among the international community, as many countries, including the United States and European Union do not recognize Russia's annexation of Crimea and consider it to be a violation of international law. The use of Starlink in Crimea might be viewed as tacit acceptance or support for Russia's actions, leading to diplomatic tensions and geopolitical repercussions. It could also impact SpaceX's business operations, as it might face sanctions or restrictions imposed by countries that oppose Russia's actions. Given the complex geopolitical dynamics surrounding Crimea, any involvement of Starlink in the region would require careful consideration and adherence to international norms and legal frameworks to avoid potential diplomatic and political consequences. The use of Starlink in Crimea raises several significant security concerns due to the geopolitical situation surrounding the region. Crimea is a territory that has been subject to a complex and contentious dispute between Russia and Ukraine. With Starlink being a satellite-based internet service provided by SpaceX, there are concerns about potential misuse of the technology for military or intelligence purposes. As Starlink operates using a constellation of satellites, it can provide internet connectivity in areas with limited or no traditional internet infrastructure. This capability could be exploited by parties with nefarious intentions to facilitate covert communications or enhance military capabilities in Crimea. Furthermore, there may be issues related to data privacy and security, as the use of satellite-based internet services raises questions about the level of surveillance and data interception by both state and non-state actors. Given the sensitive nature of the region and its history of geopolitical tensions, 
The deployment of Starlink in Crimea requires careful consideration and scrutiny to address these security concerns effectively. Restricting Starlink service in Crimea helps Ukraine by upholding international sanctions and reinforcing its territorial integrity. Following the Russian annexation of Crimea in 2014, the international community, including the United States, imposed sanctions against Russia to condemn the illegal occupation and reaffirm support for Ukraine's sovereignty. As a part of these sanctions, the U.S. government restricted certain technology and services, including Starlink, from being provided in Crimea. By adhering to these restrictions, SpaceX, the company behind Starlink, demonstrates compliance with international law and contributes to the global effort in upholding sanctions against Russia's actions in Crimea. This decision serves as a diplomatic and symbolic gesture of support to Ukraine, reiterating the international community's stance against the annexation and reaffirming its commitment to Ukraine's territorial integrity. The ban on the use of Starlink in Crimea for military and commercial purposes has been a result of complex geopolitical and legal considerations. Crimea's annexation by Russia in 2014 has led to international sanctions and restrictions on various technological and economic activities in the region. Starlink, being a project of SpaceX, an American company, falls under the purview of U.S. sanctions, prohibiting its use in Crimea to avoid potential violations. Additionally, the strategic importance of satellite-based internet services like Starlink in military and intelligence operations raises concerns among the international community. The ban not only restricts access to advanced internet connectivity in Crimea, but also reflects the broader geopolitical tensions surrounding the region. As the situation remains complex, the future of Starlink's potential use in Crimea depends on the resolution of the underlying political issues and adherence to international law and sanctions.